Hey lovely people, I pray you're doing well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Queen and I'm just excited to dive into God's word today. Um, the question I want to ask you is, are you ready for God's promise? So there are many of us, I think everyone, um, to be quite honest, um, who's a child of God, um, God may have given you a word, given you a promise. He said, my son, my daughter, this is, this is what I have for you. This is what I, what I envision for your life. This is my calling on your life. This is my promise to you. As we're going through this journey of life, we come to a point where we kind of think, God, like you said this about me. You said this about my situation, but I'm not seeing the fruits just yet. I'm not seeing the promise come to fruition. What's going on? But one of the things I want to tell you today is to hold on. Hmm. Is to hold on. Hold on to Christ. Because you can never wait on God in vain. If he has given your word, he will see it to completion. His word does not go back to him void. It goes back to him complete. It says, I have done what you have told me to do. His word never goes back to him void. So believe that he is a God that doesn't lie. He's not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. So I want to encourage you today with that word that if God has said it, he will surely do it. The scripture that was placed on my heart comes from Matthew 25, 1 to 13. And I just want to read it, um, extract some key points and pray for us. Pray for us. You know, I, I think everyone is, is, you know, believing God for something. You know, he may have given you a word, maybe about your gifting, maybe about you being you know, a teacher of the word or intercessor or, or what have you, right? Because, you know, the things of God or the things that we believe God for are not just material things or not just, you know, those type of things, but can also be spiritual giftings and blessings and anointing, which is important. So you might be saying, God, I've been praying night and day, <laughs> midnight, I'm up praying. But when? Just know that if God said it, he would do it. And you should continue to delight yourself in the things of the Lord. Delight yourself. Be diligent. He will surely do it. So I'm going to read Matthew 25, 1 to 13. It says, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins, who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins also arose and then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there shall not be enough for us and you, but we go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you, neither, for you know neither. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. May God bless his word in the name of Jesus. You know, this is very packed, but I'm just going to pick out um, certain things that stuck out to me and we'll pray. One of them is, 
you know, verse 2, it says, Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. These were all virgins. They all had, you know, a measure of good virtue, right? They were virgins. However, some of them were wise and some of them were foolish. So it highlights the importance of wisdom. Wisdom. (laughs) The word of God says wisdom is the principal thing in all you're getting. Get understanding. Wisdom is so important. We need to be wise because you might be waiting, but you could be waiting incorrectly. You have everything you need in this season. But if you're not wise, if you don't have your eyes open, you know, spiritually, God has opened your eyes or your ears. You're not wise. It will be difficult for you to navigate the season that you're in. So it is important for us to pray for wisdom. Right. And then also it said, And also it said in verse 8, it said, And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. Hmm. So not only did the wise virgins have wisdom, they also, you know, applied that wisdom in the area of preparation. They were prepared. Right? They were prepared. They said, oh, If we're going to be waiting and we have our lamps, we don't want our lamps to go out. So we need some fuel. So they carried extra oil. But the other virgins probably could have seen them and said, oh, okay, we are just like them. We have our lamps. But do you have extra oil to fuel that lamp? It also talks about preparation, preparedness. Do you have the oil? Are you gaining those skills? Are you, if you want spiritual giftings, are you praying? Are you seeking the Lord? Are you asking him? Right? Because if God gives you that gifting, but you're not even a good steward of what he has given to you now, what are you going to be doing with it? Is it just something to place on your bookshelf? Ah, anointing of God. No. God needs to see that you are using the gifting he's given you now. You're diligently doing the work he's called you. And obedience, right? Obedience is so key. I, I learned this over and over, season after season. Obedience is key. If you are waiting on God, you're believing him to propel you to that next season. What was the word that he told you? What was the last thing he told you? And did you carry it out? Sometimes you might, you know, we feel like we know things. But the Bible says, don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. We cannot be wise in our own eyes. We need to lean on God for wisdom because he's, he gives it to us freely. If we ask him, he will give it to us. So I just want to encourage us today to ask God for wisdom. Wisdom to be excellent stewards of what he has given to us. Wisdom to be prepared. Wisdom to be ready. Right? It says in verse 10, And while they went to buy... While the foolish virgins went to buy oil, the bridegroom came, the promise came. Hmm. And those who were ready went in with him to the wedding and the door was shut. I pray that we will not miss it in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will not miss what God has for us in the name of Jesus. Due to lack of readiness, unpreparedness, foolishness, disobedience. I pray. Verse 13 says, Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. 
And let's bring it to salvation. Let's bring it to Jesus returning. He's coming back. You know, I know this has been a, a song we've been singing for a long time. But he's coming back. Are we ready? Are we ready for Jesus' return? Are we ready? Hmm. May God help us. May God quicken us. May God strengthen us. So that we be ready, prepared, wise, diligently seeking him, diligently doing his work. So that when Jesus returns, we'll be ready. And we'll hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Oh, may it be so in Jesus' name. So that is the ultimate (laughs) promise. I mean... For Jesus to return. What a wonderful day that will be. So as we, you know, wait for other promises, as we are on this, you know, earth, I pray God will help us to be wise, to be prepared, and to be ready. Let's be like those wise virgins who not only had the lamp, but they also had oil to refuel when needed. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for your son and your daughter that's listening to me right now. My prayer, Lord, is that first I want to just, first God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being so faithful. Even when we are not faithful, you are always faithful. And I just say thank you, God. And my prayer is that you would just help us Help us to be good stewards of the season that we're in. Help us, Lord, to be good stewards of the of the giftings you've given us. Help us to be good stewards of the relationships you've given us. Help us, Lord, to be excellent stewards so that as we are waiting, we'll wait well, we'll be prepared, we'll be ready, and we'll be wise so that when the promise comes, we're ready. When the promise comes, we're ready. We won't, the door won't be shut on us because we're like, oh, let me, let me go and prepare something else. No, we will not miss it in the name of Jesus. We will not miss it in the name of Jesus. God, I just pray that you would help us. Help us, Lord. Have mercy. God, you know we are just humans. Help us. Help us. We don't have wisdom. Give us wisdom. Please, Lord. God, you know you know what your children are believing you for. I pray you would meet them at the point of their need. Guide us, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray you're blessed by this message. And I pray that you're encouraged to, to get ready to be prepared and to seek wisdom from the Lord. And if you're blessed by this message, definitely share with a friend, share it with someone. And if you're not a part of the family, hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you'll be notified when another message is available. And until next time, God's blessings always. Take care.